Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. Again, joined by Jacob the Lone Wolf and Peter behind the camera. We're doing a little tasting again of some good beers. And uh, today, we're, first, we're going to be looking at one Pete, uh, Peter brought, and this is the North Coast Old Rasputin uh, 12th Anniversary, or the Barrel Age Old Rasputin, aged in uh, bourbon barrels. Now, I've had the regular uh, Rasputin over in the States. But none of these guys have, so they're going to be trying this one first. And it's on 11.2% alcohol, so it's a pretty big Imperial Stout. The regular one is a classic and really nice and cheap Imperial Stout, I think. Uh, so, yeah, this should be interesting. So, we got the Bourbon Barrel Age Old Rasputin poured. And actually, when you poured it, it wasn't completely pitch black or that very thick looking at all. Viscous, you know. No, but it is, it is black when you pour it in the glass. There is a little touch of red on the top of it, yeah. and it's got a little nice... Tan looking head. It looks like Old West Putin, but man, you can smell the bourbon right away. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's take out the aroma. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> lots of bourbon and dark fruits. I get a lot of like dark fruits. Almost like a black cherry. Yeah, some raisins and that kind of forward oaky ness. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely some oaky woody notes, a little a bit, bit of vanilla. I do pick up slight alcohol. Spirit, yeah. yeah, a little bit of an alcohol tannin. It's kinda it kinda smells it smells a lot like a bourbon. Mm. It's 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 got the same kind of alcohol feel as a bourbon. Yeah, kind of like that. You know that. Yeah, what's it called? Um, yeah, but it's actually yeah, it's some decent vanilla notes, but it's mostly bourbon, and a little bit of a, like dark coffee, dark roasted malt, raisins, and a, uh, chocolate. It, maybe a little bit of coffee. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, sorry. But little, little darker chocolate, but not too much. I think it's more the dark roasty flavor. And then a lot of those dark fruit. It's, it definitely has that kind of <coughs> soaked dark fruit, uh, dark fruit soaked in yeah, in yeah. bourbon kind of thing. Yeah. It's not the most complex bourbon barrel aged beer I've had, but it certainly smells nice. And yeah. most bourbon barrels aged. Bourbon barrel aged beers are nice. But yeah, you want to give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Very light mouthfeel. Very. That was not expected. I'd say it's like l almost the lighter side of medium. Yeah. The mouthfeel feels lighter than the regular almost. I haven't had the regular. No. Um, a lot of bourbon in the aftertaste with some alcohol phenol notes. Mm. Um, oak, raisins. Again. And lightly water refill too. But yeah, it's a lot of oak, a lot of oak, and a lot of bourbon. And the then it kind of fades out to a chocolate. And then a coffee bitterness yeah. ending, ending but, in a coffee bitterness. Yeah, with the alcohol, I think. Yeah, it yeah. does have a decent amount of phenolic alcohol character, but it's one of the more roasty and roasty, toasty, ashy kind of imperial stuff. It doesn't have as much sweetness. Yeah. Uh, not, it, and it also kind of has a charred oak. Mm. Oh, and it's very dark fruity. It's almost like it's the English style of imperial stuff compared to American. Yeah. Because it's not as big, bold, and intense. Yeah, maybe it's this. After you said it anyway, maybe there's a kind of. Herbal, flory kind of, what's it called? Um, earthy note. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely earthy. I agree on that. Um, a little bit spiritual, but I like the dark fruit notes. Mm. And it also kind of has a little bit of that dark cherry almost. But, man, right now I'm just thinking ash too. Yeah. Like ashy, almost like cigarette ashy kind of. Yes. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good Imperial stop, but nothing mind-blowing. I actually think I prefer the regular Old Rasputin, to be honest, because it has a thicker mouthfeel and all. It's still a pretty good beer, yeah, it and is. it's a really nice barrel aged imperial stout. But I want more mouthfeel on it. I want more sweetness too. Yeah, uh, to kind of balance. Yeah. It. So this is more of this is more of a big roasty bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Yeah. You know, and all. North Coast Old Rasputin, uh, twelve anniversary is a pretty nice bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Not the best you can get, but I mean, it's a good brew. I like it. It's uh, nothing mind blowing, but it's it's really nice. So I'm I'm gonna eighty seven on this one. It's I just need a little more mouthfeel and a little more sweet sweetness for it to go in the nineties. But it's it's still a pretty nice imperial yeah. barrel aged imperial stout, and it has actually a decent amount of complexity with like some of the vanilla notes and all that stuff. I yeah. I pretty much agree. More mouthfeel. This would be awesome. So mm -hmm. I'll eighty six this one. Okay. Yeah, not a, not a mind blower, but good stuff. So definitely check it out if you can get it. I've heard it's like thirty five dollars. I wouldn't pay that much though. But yeah, uh, guys, definitely let us know what you think of the bourbon, al bur bourbon barrel aged North Coast Old Rasputin, if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.